Hey guys, Smith here with Minute Maintenance. Are you tired of seeing this pop up when you start your vehicle? Well, don't fret. I'm sure exactly how to figure out what the check engine light means. Stick with me. All right, guys, when the check engine light comes on on any vehicle, I know that can be a very stressful situation. You don't know what's going on with the car, and you want to get that red. Now, what you can do to read the car is if you have access to an OBD2 scanner. The one I'm holding in my hand is a Zurich ZR13. I picked it up from Harbor Freight. It was on sale for $75 at the time that I picked it up. They normally run around $90, $99. There are cheaper ones out there, but this is the one I particularly picked up because I thought this was going to give me the most bang for my buck. So what we're going to do now is show you how to use this OBD2 scanner. And if you don't have access to one or you're not comfortable buying one, that's not a problem. Just reach out, reach out to your local auto parts store. Most auto parts stores, including O'Reilly, will plug one that they have on hand in for you and tell you what your computer is trying to tell you about your car. So if you have access to an OBD2 scanner at home and you're trying to read the computer yourself, well, the steps are very simple. First things first, you want to locate the port in which you're going to plug the OBD2 scanner in underneath the driver's side of the vehicle. Most of the time it's underneath the steering column. On mine, again, this 2007 Ford Expedition, it's located right here underneath the steering column. This is where the port is. I'm going to plug my OBD2 in. Sometimes it's a little further up back behind here, a little further back. Or sometimes if there is a fuse panel, if you pull the cover off, you'll locate the scanning port right within that fuse panel. Normally, again, it's on the driver's side and fairly easy access for you. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get the keys to our car, which we have right here, because that's uh, vital to getting this code to read appropriately. All right, guys, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the keys in the ignition and you're going to turn them almost on the way. You want to stop right before actually cranking the motor right about here to the opposition. That way the car motor is not actually turning over. Next thing you do, you take the OBD2 scanner and you're going to plug it right into the port underneath the drive side steering column that we located earlier. So let's go ahead and get that going. All right, guys, so we're here underneath the driver's side. We're going to take the OBD2 scanner. We're going to plug it right in, and you can see a light starts to glow on this particular OBD2 scanner to let you know that a connection has been successfully completed. And the scanner, utilizing the car's battery itself, will automatically turn on. There is an internal battery on this one in case the car's battery is completely dead. It gives you some options. And right away, there we go, guys, P0301. That is exactly what the check engine light is telling me it says i have a cylinder one misfires detected and you can look up that code p0301 on the internet and it'll give you a little bit more information as to why that misfire might be happening now it could be from a bad spark plug whether it's just fouled out or whether it's just old and time to change it otherwise the coil pack itself may have gone bad there are a few reasons why the cylinder one might be mis misfiring but thankfully with this obd2 scanner that gives me a little bit more information so i can do a little more research and try to get this problem solved these obd2 scanners are very versatile has lots of options this big red button here allows me to actually clear out that code from my engine if i'm just tired of seeing the check engine light but just because you clear the code guys the problem doesn't actually go away so you want to get that resolved if cylinder one is misfiring if that goes untreated for a long time that can cause a lot of severe damage to your motor so just using the obd2 scanner having this on hand having this in your home toolkit this will be very useful and telling you exactly what's wrong in case you don't want to drive your car to an auto parts store and risk causing more damage to the engine in case your local auto parts store doesn't offer free scan. All right, guys, now we used was that in under a couple minutes, we were able to use our OBD2 scanner to read the onboard computer on our car to tell us exactly what that check engine light was about. If you have any comments or questions about the process or any questions or comments about anything else when it comes to vehicle maintenance, go ahead and drop those below. I'll try to get those answered for you and make a video if possible. I hope this video made things a little bit easier for you, take a little stress off your shoulders, and allows you to take a minute out of your day to do some maintenance. We'll catch you next time.